This is a hot mess, y'all. This is my greenhouse, somewhat revamped. It busted because it kept sagging with all of the rain. So John fixed it with cattle panels that he put across it. And I like it so much better, it sits up higher. But it's an absolute mess. So I'm trying to clean it out because I don't want to get seed starting. Did you say there's one on the table too? Yeah, I found one of them. It fell on the ground. It had fallen in one of these planters. I'm assuming a zip tie won't hold it down. I don't trust the zip tie. No, until you can get it. Like you use a zip tie and then you put that on. So you have like an extra pair of hands. It'll break. Okay. Well, the truth is I should have done it when I pulled it up. And I could have leaned on it. Do you need help? Okay guys, I kind of wanted to give you an update on the greenhouse and um, Johnny's fix that he did. As you can tell, it's taut up top. Um, we have found the way to stop the rain and all the tears we had in it. He was able to fix with it's some kind of gorilla greenhouse tape or something and it works amazingly we've had we had like a whole week of rain last week to test this out so let me show you what he did um, we still need to get ropes he had to cut our ropes and the reason you need ropes are for the spring winds and summer thunderstorms and stuff um, so he had to cut those and so he's gonna buy some more and we're gonna put those over and we'll eventually put the shade cloth back on probably late spring so let's come in and let me show you. It's dirty. We're, we're in the process of trying to clean everything out. Um, so what he ended up doing is he took the, I think they're eight inch cattle pan. I don't know if eight, inch, eight foot, eight foot. I don't know. There's like the six, I think it is feet. Cause there's like the 16 foot cattle panel and then they have like an eight foot, and I don't think it's called the cattle panel. I think it was called, he said it had a different name. And I don't remember what he said it was. Um, something friend. I don't know. So he used those. And I don't know if he cut them in half or if he did four of them. I don't know. There's four on here. So I don't know. I'll have to ask him. And what we ended up doing is we put them over the top. So if you can see, they're strong. This is strong. That this is not going to sink down with the water. When it rains, it's going to stay taut. And the rest of this construction is really good. That was our only complaint about this greenhouse. That and like we're great standing in it in, well, I'm great standing in it and he may still touch the top, but I'm great standing in it in the center. But if you come too far over on these side rails, you can hit your head. Um, we talked about putting some wood along the bottom, but then we would have to step in if we did that. So I think for now, this is fine and we're gonna leave it like this. But what the way he secured these in here was he used these, I guess these are called U-bolts. Yeah, U-bolts. And so we used U-bolts. Some of them, I liked this size better than this. I thought this bigger one was a pain um, getting them on. And as you can see, 
for the most part. Like this one probably should get turned this other way. I have to see if he can help me do it. I don't want to smash my finger so that this isn't pointing on the greenhouse stuff. And um, he also did these little clamps here um, to help give it extra secure. And I think what we're going to do is we're also going to come through with some... We ran out of the U-bolts, and I think what we're going to do is... We have a couple places where we could, I think we're just going to get some heavy duty zip ties and put zip ties for there because it's, see how he did these? I mean, it's, it's secure. They're not going to break. So that is what he did. I'm super happy with it. I think it's going to be great for this year. And, um, we cleaned off these, these benches. He's talking about building me, um, some benches over here that are kind of like the stair steps for plants. Um, I have these old tables. We took one out. Um, and I filled them up to plant last year. Like I ran out of space with this and these side ones. So I think if we had the other, we left one table and had the other, that that would be phenomenal. And I'd probably move the table down this way because over here, is where the morning sun comes in and it gets you know afternoon sun and all that this is predominantly where we kept the shade cloth was on this half so I think that would be how I'd want it and um, but now I'm just trying to get things cleaned up cleaned out it's a mess it is a mess I pulled out all my frost fabric and we have tarps I had that tarp up there trying to dry. So we have tarps everywhere. And trying to figure out um, where I'm going to put them and stuff like that. So this is a question I have for any of you guys who might know. Okay, so these, this, now this one thing is like sunflower dried. I have a lot of sunflower seeds. But if you can see these, these were garlic, yeah. These were garlic from last year. They didn't do, um, and they're green and sprouted, and here's more. I had a couple of varieties. Um, should I plant these? What should I do? These were the onions. Like, I, I think that they're toast. I don't know. Um, is this just all... Should I toss it? Is it usable? If it's sprouting? I don't know. Um, I've never planted, like, from that. So, I don't know. So, anyway, if you know, if you could let me know, I would appreciate it. If you just say something in the comments. Like... I, this got tucked under the table and I had forgot all about them but that's really green so would that be like um, a garlic chive or something that it would be good for I don't know but anyway if you know I would appreciate your help on that a whole lot so I'm going to start cleaning up while I have daylight I've got pots and things I want to start getting ready because I want to start some seeds and yeah go and check in all of my fertilizers I love this agri -thive. I have the general one and then the fruiting and flower one I love this stuff it's a liquid fertilizer so I like that and um so anyway, that's what I'm doing. I just wanted to show you how we fixed our Amazon greenhouse to make it um, rainproof. And the Gorilla Tape, I'll ask him and I'll try to link it in the description, the one he used. But you can't even see where it tore. It's amazing and it's held up. It's clear. I think it's, it's greenhouse. I don't know if you can see it. The sun. I don't know if you can even 
see that but it's on there I mean it rained hard last week it didn't leak at all we got several little places where he had to do that so I don't know yeah that's that long strip right there I don't know if you can tell that there's a little bit of color discoloring that's where that we put the tape but it has held up thus far um so totally excited about this but anyway i just wanted to show that to you so if you have one of these and you were struggling with the rain but you want it to last longer get you the cattle panel or the whatever they're called the <laughs> panel friends or whatever he said they were called um, he got them from Tractor Supply. And um, we also use them in our garden to stake up tomatoes and things like that. So, and they're a little bit cheaper. I don't remember, I don't know what they're going for right now, but I can ask him and put it in the description. Anyway, just wanted to show you that. All right, guys. So, I got all my frost cloths up. I lost a lid somewhere. I don't know what happened to it. We have seed starting trays. Um, these are pots I used last year that I need to wash before I grow in those. I have kind of my fertilizer. We have more fertilizer feeders and stuff in the big bucket underneath. And these are just some tools. I just kind of got this sitting out of the way for right now. I've made myself a workspace so I can do some seed starting and these um, those have not been used before so they're ready to go um, but I think I'm gonna use some of my seed trays with the domes because um, this is gonna be for my brassicas I really like using these pots for like my tomatoes stuff like that um, so, or my peppers, stuff like that. So anyway, I feel like I made a lot of, a lot of improvement. It may not look hugely improved, but it looks better to me. And I still have a few things to get rid of trash wise, but I got a huge bag over there. But like my work area over here, let me show you what John built me last year. This is from an Azure haul. <laughs> If you're ever at Azure Hall, they ask you if you want a pallet usually. And this was such a nice pallet, heavy duty. And he made me a pot and table with wheels. Um, and I love it. I love it, I don't have to bend over. And then this was the original, this was the first one he did. And it, I was all humped over. So I like to put like my grow mix and things like that in here. And then I, I can pot up here. Or I can pot in the greenhouse, you know, depending on the weather. And, yeah, I'm really happy. I got some of that cleaned up. And it looks so much better. Um, I still have some tarps over there. we got to figure out. John was going to get me a bucket for those so we can put them in the shed. And I wanted to show y'all because look at my lone broccoli that survived. <laughs> And I wanted to show you, so this bed is actually going to be, it's going to be as long as that bed, and it's going to be wood, but it's going to, these outer cinder blocks are going to be gone, so it's going to get skinnier, so we have a better walkways, and um, we'll put probably like those T-posts in here and do um, a cattle panel, something like that for the tomatoes in the center, I think. It's kind of what I'm thinking. We'll see. Um, uh, or I may put them on to one side and then have things I can companion plant in the front. I got to figure out the bed. I haven't, like I said, I haven't planned everything out yet. This bed is going away and we have three of these um, that will go here in its place. And we're just trying to move it so that we have better walkways when everything's grown. Um, when everything's grown up. So, um, and I'm also thinking about taking that cattle panel down um, because 
it did kind of block a little bit the sunlight I mean it still gets so much sun I don't know I haven't decided yet and I really liked growing cucumbers on it they did so well there my little garlics and my little vega bed they actually wrote me and told me they liked my video and everything which I thought was really nice they didn't have to do that I thought it was very nice of them to take the time and do that and those are doing really great and because I planted those right before that crazy cold and then I, but what I wanted to show you was this is look at my collard greens they're beautiful I fertilize them with the um, the nitrogen I think it was fish meal I can't remember I think it was fish meal I have to look but I got it from uh, Atlantis hydroponics it's amazing and this will look like you're gonna think something's eating them no that's where I picked them this is like incredible regrowth that in a week it's amazing and then these are my um, these are my um, Brussels sprouts and I think I'm starting to get maybe a little head down in there that's what that looks like to me so we may get Brussels sprouts after all I kind of trim the bottom leaves back now some of them are still pretty small but we got a shot we got a shot so I didn't touch these I left these alone I also fertilize these and I can tell because they really darkened up the green um, they did take some damage you can see but I think they're going to be okay. And I still have a row of carrots. They're going pretty good. So um, this, this bed of carrots, it was going gangbusters until that freeze. So I, I think, I don't know, I think it might come back because I way over planted. We'll see. That's what happened in my front bed last year. So that's what I'm holding on to. Anyway, I'm going to finish everything real quick get this big bag of trash out of here I gotta go clean the grill and try to make some sourdough pizzas on the blackstone griddle for the first time and see how that works we because I forgot to sign out all right so if you found value in this at all I would love a thumbs up if um, you are liking our content please consider subscribing to our channel that helps us a whole lot um, and, um, or if you know someone you think might like our videos, please share our videos. We'd appreciate that. We don't want you to spam everybody, but if you know someone who y'all like the same things and you think they might like it, we would love to have them here in our little community at Sewing Back. So with that, I thank you for watching and I hope you have a great one. I'll see you next time. Bye.